What to do, YouTube? MGM for life here. Back again, bringing you some more stats. Uh, Smogan just um, put up all the stats of all of all the new Pokemon, as well as the Mega Evolutions. Um, well, they didn't just put them up; they probably put them like two days ago. But I was actually was on a field trip to Mount Fuji, so um, I missed it. So I'm, I'm doing it now since I was I didn't get a chance to do it before. So I'm pretty sure there's, there have been other YouTubers who do stuff like this, but um, I wanted to do it. You know, share my two cents. Um, and uh, go from there. So we're just gonna go on down the list, starting with Chess. Now, obviously, we're gonna quit, skip Chespin and Quilladin because you're probably not gonna use them unless you're playing lower tiers. So um, Chess. Now, it's got base 88 HP, 107 attack, 122 defense, 74 special attack, 75 defense, 64 speed. So um, definitely a lower tier Pokemon uh, stats. Um, has an ability uh, bulletproof, which um, Actually, let's let's check out that ability because <laughs> I don't I'm not quite familiar with all of the new abilities. But let's say it says um, protects the Pokemon from from some ball and bomb moves. So um, seems kind of gimmicky the uh, bulletproof ability. I think Overgrow is probably going to be a better ability in the long run, unless I don't know ball and bomb moves become super popular. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, is, what is it pretty like against? I guess they can't sludge bomb you. Now that'd be something. You know, like you can switch like Gengar can't sludge bomb you. That's actually not that bad if you think about it. Because you can use this Pokemon uh, max HP, max special defense. Uh, you might. What if it protects you against both Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb? That might be something. Ne never mind. I lied. <laughs> Shadow Ball. If Bulletproof protects you against Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb, like, this is like the ultimate Gengar counter. They'd have to run Hidden Power Flying in order to deal with your your Chestnut. That actually might be something that, to consider. That might actually be enough to boost Chestnut to overuse status, just to simply because it just straight up counters Gengar, as well as a Pokemon like Breloom, because Breloom can't put it to sleep, and uh, you could run, I don't know, like, uh, um, uh, I don't know, some hidden, like, hidden Power Fire or something. But uh, anyway, as far as Chestnut, what can you actually do with it? It has base 74 attack, which is... Decent attack for uh, for a uh, for a wall or a tank type Pokemon, and it, uh, hopefully it will get access to Giga Drain, being a grass type Pokemon, so you can um, you know run max HP with Giga Drain. It also it does get access to Leech Seed, so you could use Leech Seed um, instead of Giga Drain if it doesn't learn Giga Drain. Um, you could uh, get access and it gets access to Bulk Up as well as Power Up Punch, which is a new fighting type move that boosts your attack. So you could run a bulky um, bul bulky Bulk Up set. Um, so um, I think uh, depending on how well, but what like what ball and bomb moves bulletproof protects you against, because the description said some. So I, I don't know, if, you know, every ball and bomb move is encompassed, or some are, uh, or some are um, excluded. I don't know, but depending. But again, Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb are both ball and bomb moves that um, Gengar is more than likely going to run this gen. And if it's protected against those two moves, it completely counters Gengar, unless Gengar has Hidden Power Fire. But that's unstabbed. Plus, Hidden Power is only base 60 this gen. So, Chestnut might be the ultimate Gengar counter. But, um, uh, besides that, I think Gen uh, Chestnut overall is a subpar Pokemon. Uh, doesn't really have, you know, it doesn't have really one thing that's like, oh, well, this Pokemon can run this set and it'll be really good on it. Uh, 122 defense as a defensive wall might be decent with Leech Seed and Protect, or Spiky Shield actually. Uh, it's way better than Protect. Uh, spiky Shield to uh, block physical attackers might be decent. You know, 122 defense plus 88 base HP is not bad, but not quite overused the material. Um, so now we're going to move on to uh, Delphox. It has two abilities, Blaze and Magician. Magician allows you to steal your opponent's item. Uh, basically, a, a, a thief built into your your, your ability, kind of like the pickpocket ability. Um, it has 75 HP, 69 attack, 72 defense, 114 special attack, 100 uh, special defense, and 104 speed. Um, obviously, speed, special attack, and special defense are its best stats. Problem with uh, Del Fox is that it's part psychic, so far as far as the overuse meta game is concerned, T Tar. That's all I need to say. T Tar. T Tar. Switches in and then you die and you just lost the Pokemon and um, that's pretty much the reason and also I mean well I mean I people probably wouldn't switch a Scizor into a Delphox but you know if you're running like a, a choice Delphox and you lock yourself into you know Psy Shock and then Scizor just comes in and then you lost you died to a bug Pokemon um, yeah being weak to to Dark is really not a good thing as far as an overused Pokemon is concerned 
because of T-Tar mainly. Um, and the thing that Victini has over this Pokemon, because obviously it's, it's you're going to compare this Pokemon to Victini because they have the same typing. Victini has access to U-Turn, Brick Break, a whole bunch of moves. Victini's move set, move pool is pretty good. And uh, so a Pokemon like T-Tar, Victini doesn't really care about because you can, you know, U-Turn predicting a switch if you're running a choice set. Or you can just straight up brick break it if you want, if you if, if, if it switches in. So as long as if it doesn't have Chobble Berry, it's going to die. So uh, Victini is definitely a much, much better Pokemon overall than Delphox. I mean, it's kind of hard to, you know, outshine a Pokemon that has a 180 base stab move <laughs> with, um, with that doesn't miss with little to no downside. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, outshine that. So we're going to move on to the next Pokemon, Greninja. This is probably going to be a very a very uh, common Pokemon in the overused tier. has high potential of the starters to be overused. 75 HP, or 72 HP, sorry. 95 attack, 67 uh, defense, 103 special attack, 71 special defense, 122 speed. So it's obviously a frail Pokemon, uh, but it has 95 attack, which is usable. 103 special attack, which is also pretty good, and 122 um, speed. So this is basically uh, like a, a Starmie-esque Pokemon. This Pokemon does not have quite the move pool of Starmie, but it does have access to moves like Acrobatics, U-Turn, which is really a good one. Uh, it's obviously Water and Dark, so it gets the Water Dark stab moves. It also has access to Grass Knot. Um, so this can definitely be a really good um, late game sweeper, uh, a pretty good scarfer with the ability to U-turn, uh, as well as Water Dark. Now that Dark is no longer resisted by Steel, a Pokemon like Ferrothorn can no longer just switch in for free. I mean, obviously, Ferrothorn's still going to eat up those Dark type moves, especially if they're not boosted by anything. But it's still going to take at least more damage than it would have in 5th gen. But uh, definitely one that 122 base speed outspeeds stuff, stuff, things like Latios and Latias. Um, so you can just switch in, threaten them out with the potential for a Dark Pulse or Dark type move, and just U-turn to get some switch initiative. Uh, so this is definitely prob this definitely this Pokemon definitely um, has some overused potential, and I really feel like it's probably going to be um, it's probably going to be overused. Uh, just depends on you know what um, how people want to use it. Uh, you can also run like Choice Specs in the rain with the um, Torrent. Oh, it also gets the Protein ability, uh, which actually it changes your type based on the attack that you use. Um, so I don't really think that ability is going to be too useful um, for Greninja in the long run. Um, but uh, it could could kind of prevent you from, for example, like if you use Dark Pulse, I don't know if you'll become a pure Dark type since you're already Dark, or will you stay Dark Water? I don't know how Protein is actually going to work with Greninja. It, uh, the other Pokemon that has it is... Um, uh, Kecleon, so it's a lot easier for Kecleon because Kecleon is just straight up normal. So if you use, you know, uh, anything that's non-normal, you'd obviously become that type. Uh, but uh, uh, Greninja is already two types. So if you, for example, if you use a Water move, or you just you just become pure Water. I don't know. That's kind of confusing, and I won't even get into it. Uh, the next Pokemon, Diggersby. I'm so upset with this Pokemon. It's so bad. I mean, I want this Pokemon so cool to me. I think this is a cool Pokemon, and it just. I wanted to use it in game and it just sucks. I mean, 56 attack, 50 special attack. Hello? What why? This Pokémon it's too This thing looks like a threat. Why did they make it so bad? <laughs> it's awful. Oh man, but it does get huge power though through the Dream Road. So I think um actually I didn't even see that though. It does get huge power. I did not know that. Um so that 56 attack actually isn't as bad as I initially thought it was. Plus 85 base HP, 77 in the defense is not the greatest bolt. But it is decent. Um, it also does get agility, so you could run agility um, with uh, the the huge power, and uh, now those earthquakes will be hitting some for some decent damage. Actually, this Pokemon isn't as bad as I initially thought it was. I didn't see huge power. Without huge power, this Pokemon is just straight up shit. But it does get agility, so agility, a huge power set. Uh, definitely not going to be overused, but for the lower tiers, maybe underused, are used. It actually could be a pretty a pretty uh, pretty big threat in the lower tiers. So actually, Diggersby, thank you for not being absolute shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Game Freak, for giving this thing actually something that it could use. Uh, next Pokemon, um, Talonflame. 126 speed, so it's faster than Swellow. You're going to compare it to the Bro Pokemon. I think the best Bro Pokemon are obviously Swellow and uh, Star Raptor in previous gens, and now we're going to add Talonflame to that list. Uh, 78 HP, uh, 71 uh, 
Defense, 74 special attack, 69 special defense, so another frail Pokemon. It's also four times weak to Stealth Rock, so it's really going to hurt it. And I think that's going to be one of the main reasons why people, if it's not overused, why people will not will be will shy away from it. Because of the uh, fact that it's uh, four times weak to Stealth Rock. I mean, Swallow is another one of those speedy Pokemon that actually could do really well in overuse, considering it has Guts uh, with the Flame Orb. Also, 125 base speed plus Stab, uh, stab um, Facades and Stab Brave Birds. I don't know why, you know, I mean, Swallow really could have been an overused Pokemon. I mean, it just straight up one-shots a Pokemon like uh, Latios, outspeeds it and one-shots it with Facade after after um, the uh, Guts boost. So I don't know why Swallow wasn't, you know, higher. It's not even you, you. I don't know why. But um, this Pokemon, four times weak to Stealth Rock, is really going to hurt it. But a Pokemon like Volcarona is also four times weak to Stealth Rock. Uh, this Pokemon also gets an amazing uh, Dream World ability, or... Hidden ability, which is Gale Wings, which basically gives it priority type move, a pr priority on its flying type moves. So you have priority Brave Birds. So that means, so th I think that might be something that can boost this Pokemon to overuse status because Brave Bird has plus one priority now. It's kind of like Prankster for your flying type moves. So you can just, it doesn't matter. They can set up all they want. I'm just going to switch in my Talon Flame and Brave Bird you. And unless you have Extreme Speed or something like that, I'm going to go first. So that that could be something that boosts this Pokemon over the top. Plus the fact that it has 126 speed uh, normally, that actually might be pretty good. Although the base 81 attack is somewhat low. So even if you do have priority bird, Brave Birds, it's not really going to be doing that much. But you could run Adamant because you do get priority on your flying type moves. You could run Adamant and still, you know... 120 base 6 speed, even if you're not running plus speed nature, that's still pretty fast and outspeeds a lot of Pokemon. And then anything else you wouldn't outspeed, you can just hit them up with the, uh, a flying type move. So that actually might not be too bad. Um, do I think people will use it? Probably not because, again, the, the fire flying thing is really going to hinder it, but definitely underused. I don't think it'll drop any, I don't think it'll be lower than underused, and I would be surprised if it was. Um, the the um, blood flying Pokemon, Vivalon, 89 speed. 90 special attack, eh, it's just definitely not. Probably RU or NU, where all the bug flying Pokemon typically go. Um, I, it probably has access to Quiver Dance. I don't know for sure whether it does or not. Um, it does have Shield Dust, which prevents um, you from getting um, status by moves. Um, that aren't that don't directly status you like you can't get burned by flamethrower stuff like that uh, Also comp compound eyes is a really good ability, but again bug flying four times weak to rocks plus It's not the greatest and there's Volcarona. Yeah, I, I just don't see it being used uh, next Pokemon Pyroar 109 special attack 106 speed uh, it does have over 100 speed, but unfortunately it didn't hit that magic number of 108, which was really popular um, in the 5th gen because of the uh, mythical goats. Um, I guess they're goats, or I don't know that, I think they're goats. But anyway, Terrakion, Keldeo, and Cobalion, if you didn't know what I was talking about. Um, we have just barely, just a little bit under that, so that's kind of going to hurt it. It's also weak to Stealth Rocks as well, but it does have 109 base uh, special attack, which is really good. But I don't, I, offensively speaking, I don't think uh, fire types are the greatest type offensively. Uh, for example, like a Pokemon like Moltres, it, uh, if it wasn't weak to four times weak to Stealth Rush, I really think Moltres would have been overused because of its one, its high base special attack, plus it's also flying. So, you know, f fire flying plus fighting, like that coverage is, pr I, I think that's unresisted. Like you can hit everything for neutral damage. I can't think of anything off the top of my head that resists all three of those moves. Um, maybe a uh, flying... Well, nope, not even no, I can't think of any. Anyway, but uh, fire normal. I mean, I don't, I don't really think that that it's not really a great type coverage because uh, again, things like T tar, mainly T tar, just comes in and that doesn't even doesn't even care. And you don't, you don't want to be able to have, have let T tar have a free switch, and especially the mega T tar that's going to be running around. Uh, the next Pokemon we're going to be talking about is oh, I forgot to say uh, this Pokemon. Um, I think it's like it's like similar to Arcanine. I guess it's probably going to be compared to Arcanine. And Arcanine is pretty decent in the underused tier. I don't think this Pokemon will be underused. Um, actually, it, it might be, though. It doesn't have access to um, a Workup, which is really good to both boost its stats. Um, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. This Pokemon, it's this is one of those ambiguous Pokemon. It could really just fall anywhere other than overused. Uh, so now we'll move on to Florges. Uh One of my, uh, I like, I really like this Pokemon. It has 154 base special defense with 78 HP. It also has access to gets access to Wish, and then 112 base special attack. This Pokemon just eats up special attacks for breakfast. Um, fortunately, its move pool is really bad. Like, it can't learn anything. I have, I have one in, in game as you guys know, and 
it only gets grass and fairy type moves. Like honestly, like it only it gets grass, not Giga Dra or not Giga Drain, um, Energy Ball, um, and uh, what's with the other one, the the, the Petal Tornado or Petal something, whatever. It's the physical grass type move. Cause I don't know why it's physical. That move it gets a bunch of grass type moves and a bunch of fairy type moves, and that's it. Like it can't learn anything else other than like you know, Toxic and Attract, the standard moves that every Pokemon can learn. So that's going to be a hinder one of its hindrances. It's just, uh, just a terrible move pool. But the 154 base special defense plus access to Wish, I definitely feel like this is overused material. That's all you really need. It's going to be a great uh, wall. Um, you can switch in onto those, you know, Latios, Latias, uh, Dragon, Dragon, those Dragon type Pokemon. You can switch in onto them. Although the 68 base defense, that's going to hurt it though because, you know, you switch this in onto a dragon thinking you're safe and they hit you up with an iron tail that's gonna do some big damage because you don't really have that much defense to you know to take that hit with so um, I think maybe you'll see probably see a lot of more max defense uh, floor just is just to take those uh, physical hits better just in case you do uh, get on the wrong end of a uh, on the wrong end of a misprediction and you get hit up with an iron tail you'll be able to take it much better with max defense than you would with max special defense plus 154 special defense i mean you really don't need to touch that you're going to eat up special hits without even training at all so definitely think this pokemon is going to be overused i'm now go go 123 hp 100 attack 62 defense 97 special attack 81 uh, special defense 68 speed uh i, I don't know it's, I don't think this Pokemon is going to be overused. It does have um, Sap Zipper. What is Grass Pelt? I, mean, I don't even know what this is. But let's find out. It says uh, boost defense when the stat when the terrain is grass. Okay, so uh, it's like a I don't know. I guess there's like a new grass move, um, a grass type of field move. But uh, I don't think that's going to be too useful. Um, go go. I def this is definitely going to be probably low 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 on the usage list. Um, it does have a lot of HP, but uh, 62 base de um, defense is not the greatest, but then with that 123 base HP, um, it kind of mitigates the low defense. It could definitely be a decent wall uh, or tank, uh, but uh, I would say RU or NU probably for this Pokemon. Now, one of one of the more dis most disappointing Pokemon, it was Diggersby until I found out that it had huge power, but this Pokemon is definitely on my list. Uh, Pangoro, I, I felt like this Pokemon had so much potential with the ability to use that new um, U-turn-esque move, the parting shot, which doesn't do damage, but it allows you to get switch initiative, also lowering the special attack, and attack of the Pokemon that, you know, gets hit with the move. I thought that, that was going to be so good, like Choice Scar, Pangoro, you know, they switch in their Glide Score, you can use uh, parting shot, go into something that can set up, and then force the Glide Score to switch out and get a free setup, stuff like that, that opened up all types of shenanigans, but now, you know, 95 base HP is good, 124 base attack is decent, 78 defense, 69 special uh, attack, 71 special defense, a 58 speed is really what hurts it because you can't really run Choice Scar for 58 speed. I mean, you can, but it's not going to be that effective, especially in the overused tier. Now, you could run Choice Bandit and, you know, run Parting Shot as a move to get you some switch initiative. That might not be a bad idea, especially with the Iron Fist ability. Also has Scrappy, which is not which is not bad either. I think Iron Fist is probably the best ability, but I think that Choice Banded Pangoro will probably be the most effective Pangoro with Parting Shot plus Fighting Dark Stab, and then you know, maybe Ice Punch. You know, if you're running overused, for, uh, you're running it overused for a Pokemon like Flash Score. Uh, I definitely think that Choice Banded will be the most effective set. Now, what tier will this most likely be? Probably Are You. Uh, I would say Are You. Although this definitely could be used in underused as well because it does have some semi decent bulk. Uh, I'd say are you an or, 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 or uh, UU for this Pokemon. Next, we're going to be talking about Furfrow. Furco, 75, uh, which has the attack from physical damage. 75 HP, 80 attack, 60 defense. So that's why they gave it that ability. Uh, 65 special attack, 90 special defense, and 82 speed. Uh, this is a decent. This Pokemon can function as a decent defense wall because max HP, max defense, plus the fur coat ability. Not not bad at all. It's going to be taking physical hits really really nicely actually. Um, Definitely not going to be overused, but I could definitely see this Pokemon being a, 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 an annoyance in the underused tier, especially with the de uh, that pretty good uh, 90 base special defense, 82 speed is not bad, 80 attack is meh, if you're going to run it as a, uh, as a wall, it's not bad at all. But I definitely can see this Pokemon um, seeing some usage and play in underused and underused tier. If not, are you? Uh, I say you, you are you for this Pokemon as well. Um, now, Meowstic, um, it gets Prankster, the male gets Prankster, the female gets competitive. Um, it's got some subpar stats. It does have high. It does have high speed, um, decent special defense, um, terrible, awful attack. But you really wouldn't expect it to have high attack anyway. 
83 special attack. Uh, it, it, this is this is a, this is just NU material. Uh, NU. I mean, there, there, I, there's, I don't really see it doing anything more than NU. So now the next Pokemon, Doblade and Aegislash. We get into their stats: 59 HP for Doblade, 110 attack, 150 defense, 45 special attack, 49 special defense. That's really gonna hurt it. 35 speed. And but thing about this Pokemon is you can run it with you can run um. Uh, what is the uh, Eviolite with this Pokemon thing with the Violite plus 150 base defense? This thing is gonna be eating up physical hits. Plus the fact that this thing just straight up walls Terrakion unless it has Earthquake. Plus this thing close Glide Score means that Terrakion is not even a threat. Um, I mean, so this Pokemon really works well alongside Glide Score for physical defense. Um, and uh, the hundred, then then 110 base attack is not even bad. Like it can dish out some big damage. Uh, fortunately, this Pokemon actually does not learn Will O Wisp, so you can't uh, you can't abuse no you can't use No God Will O Wisps with this Pokemon. Unfortunately, I I was hoping that you could just you know use the Will O Wisp along with this with No Guard, never miss. I have to worry about that nonsense. Even though Will O Wisp actually did get I think a 10% boost in accuracy this gen, so I think it's no it's 85 percent. It got boosted to 80, so it's like Stone Edge now. Uh, but it can't learn Will O Wisp, unfortunately. Um, it doesn't really get much support moves. It really just learns all attacks, basically. <laughs> but uh, still, this th this thing can definitely function as a physical tank, taking hits and then dish out some damage right back. It also has access to Shadow Snake. That's for priority, so it can two hit KO some things, you know, some uh, frailer offensive threats. So this Pokemon is going to be really good. Definitely overused material. Age of Slash, another Pokemon with the Stance Change ability. I explained how that ability works. Uh, in one of my videos, I'll link that in the the, um, the, uh, I'll, I'll, the link will be in the description as well as in the top left hand corner or maybe top right hand corner, uh, depending on where it is. But it'll be a link. It'll just it'll say how Age Slash's ability works, and you can click on that and see how it works if you haven't seen it. But basically, um, whenever you go for an attack, you start off in the defense mode, the shield form. Whenever you go for an attack, you switch to the blade form. And as you can see, I have 150 defense and 150 special defense. In the shield form, well, that's the shield form, the 150 attack, and the 150 special attack is when it switches to the blade form. And uh, I think this Pokemon, I, I, this is my favorite Pokemon in 6th gen, I really love this Pokemon. It's such a threat, I mean after a sword dance plus 150 base attack, it, this thing is going to wreck, I swear. Like This thing is going to be a big, big threat for late game, especially because this thing is guaranteed to get up a sword dance. Like 150 base defense, it's going to take one hit. Even super effective moves are not, you, it's going to be hard to O-code this Pokemon, even with super effective moves. And that, then you'll get a free sword dance up, or you don't even have to sword dance. I mean, you're guaranteed to get a kill because with that 150 base attack, you can two hit KO almost every single Pokemon in the game. So, I, if, if I mean, I can't even think of Pokemon that you wouldn't be able to two hit KO with a combination of Shadow Sneak, Iron Head, Sick, or Sacred Sword, and Shadow Claw. I mean, you can hit everything. Something's gonna die, basically. This Pokemon is really, really good, and uh, it's my favorite Pokemon by far uh, for six gen. Now, next Pokemon, Aromatis. Aromatize, don't know how to pronounce it, but 101 base um, HP, which is really good, 72 and 72 in the attack and defense, 99 special attack, not bad, 89 special defense, not even bad, and then uh, 29 speed, absolutely terrible, uh, but it has really good bulk with the 101 HP with the, the, the 72 and the 89 in defense and special defense respectively, it does get access to Calm Minds, you could run a Calm Mind set with, um, with the Aromatherapy, to prevent yourself from getting status, so Calm Mind, Aromatherapy, um, I don't know if it gets like a, um, a um, recovery move, but I think that's like the ultimate, the one problem, we still don't know all the Pokemon's full full movesets, but if this Pokemon gets like Recover, this could be a, a, a threat, um, another Pokemon that can run a set like this is um, Clefable as well, Clefable can run this and really be a threat, Clefable's definitely going to be an overused threat, especially the Calm Mind, Clefable's going to be really hard to take down, and this Pokemon could do something similar, if not in the overused tier, definitely like the underused tier, or the, or the, or the rarely used tier for sure. Slurpuff, this Pokemon's awful, I mean 82 base HP is not bad, 80 attack is okay, 86 defense is not bad, 85 special attack is not bad, it's just overall, it's just average, like there's nothing that's like overtly good about this Pokemon. So it's, I would, it's kind of like um, Garbodor. Like Garbodor has you know, decent stats everywhere, but it's not nothing to stand out to you. And I think that this will probably be in the similar tier. I think this is going to be NU though. Um, it's, this Pokemon is probably going to struggle for some usage. It is a fairy, so that may boost it up in the usage, but eh, meh. Next Pokemon we're going to talk about is Malamar. 
another one of those subpar Pokemon that, you know, I felt like, I really felt like it was going to be good and it just disappointed me. So 86 HP, 92 attack, 88 defense, 68 special attack, 75 special defense, 73 speed. It does have contrary though and it does learn superpower. So that's something that you could abuse with this Pokemon's contrary plus superpower. Perhaps maybe run max uh, max HP, max special defense, and then just superpower, superpower, boosting your attack and your defense. Um, also gets access to the ability uh, Infiltrator, which actually got boosted this gen because now Infiltrator also allows you to, to hit through substitutes. So you can bypass the substitute and hit a Pokemon directly with the Infiltrator ability now this gen. Which is really, that actually might be also very useful. So, you know, Pokemon that get that through the Dream World, like Crobat is another Pokemon that gets Infiltrator, which normally was a useless ability pretty much now it actually becomes very useful so that's also something that it could, it, it could potentially abuse but I think definitely contrary will be the, de uh, the best um, the best ability for it well, to, so it can abuse superpower just contrary just superpower everything and um, so that actually may not be bad I can definitely see that that set being very effective in the underused tier uh, if not the underused tier definitely definitely are used are uh, rarely used tier for sure I don't see this Pokemon dropping any lower than RU. I would be surprised if it did um, Contrary superpower is just too good and um, unlike Spinda it does actually have some much better stats to abuse with that Another one of the Pokemon. I really like Bar Barbarical uh, tough claws ability really good ability these other abilities are not that great, but 72 attack, uh, HP, 105 attack, 115 defense, uh, 54 special attack, 86 uh, special defense, and 68 speed. Fortunately, its speed isn't the greatest, but it's much better than Caracosta's. And this Pokemon's are obviously going to be compared to Caracosta because they're very similar. This Pokemon has access to Shell Smash that I explained in one of my videos, and it also has access to Fighting type moves. So. You know what? Where Caracosta lacked in its ability to handle a Pokemon like Ferrothorn for the Overs tier, this Pokemon doesn't have that problem. Because after a Shell Smash, you can go for a Cross Chop and Shell Smash plus two attack, Life Orb Cross Chop, gonna knock out that Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is not a counter to this Pokemon whatsoever. Also, you know, Stab Water Moves. It does not learn Waterfall, but it does have Razor Shell plus Tough Claw, Tough Claw's ability, which basically is the same thing. Uh, which comes out to be about the same as a waterfall would be anyway, so that's so it doesn't really matter that it doesn't have waterfall also. So water and rock is actually pretty good uh, offensive coverage overall. Obviously, the only thing that can take those two is a uh, third one, and then you can just hit them up with a cross top. So this Pokemon is going to be a threat. Um, will it be overused though? Um, I, I can see this Pokemon being overused. I mean, I mean, Cloyster was overused simply because it had Shell Smash, and I think this Pokemon is another Pokemon that just be, I mean, it getting Shell Smash is all it needs to boost it up to overuse. 68 speed, again, isn't the best, it is not that great, but, you know, if, if you run plus speed nature, Jolly, you know, you're going to outspeed a lot of stuff with, at, with plus two speed, so, I, I, def I definitely can see this Pokemon being underused, I uh, overused, sorry, um, underused at the very least, I don't think, I don't see it dropping anything anywhere lower than underused. I mean, if you have Shell Smash, you should not be lower than, un than underused. Next Pokemon we're talking about is Dragalge. Uh, this is definitely de a defensive poison type Pokemon. 65 HP, somewhat low for a defensive Pokemon. 75 attack, 90 defense, 97 special attack, 123 special defense, 44 speed. Uh, this Pokemon is another Pokemon that can counter Gengar pretty nicely with the 123 base uh, special defense. Uh, this is th this Pokemon may be overused just simply for that fact because it's another Pokemon that can take on Mega Gengar and Gengar because Gengar is going to be a, a big big threat uh, next generation or this generation sorry. Um, I, I think that um, if it were it, that's probably going to be the reason why it's overused just because it's going to function as a pretty pretty decent special wall being poison type it can take on Gengar. It's also neutral to Fairy. It's not weak to Fairy because uh, poison does resist Fairy, so that's another plus for this Pokemon. Whereas another defensive Pokemon uh, like Gudra is going to be weak to Fairy, uh, and we'll get to Gudra eventually. Um, so I think I definitely think this Pokemon has the potential to be overused as a special wall. You'll probably see that uh, that set more more often. That's probably the best set to run. I mean, 44 speed. It's not really going to be sweeping much. Uh, and the 97 attack special attack is decent, but it's not something that's like threatening. Like you're not going to oh shit, 97 special attack. Got to be watch out for that. So uh, the, the subpar speed and special attack are really going to just force it to only be a special wall, basically, or a physical wall. 90 base defense is not bad either. Uh, next we're going to talk about Claw Witzer. It does have the Mega Launcher ability boosting its Pulse and uh, Sphere type moves, I think. Uh, 120 uh, base special uh, special attack, 71 HP, 73 uh, attack, 88 defense, 89 special defense, and 59 speed. Eh, this Pokemon does have a, a decent ability uh, boosting up its uh, 
some of its moves. Also, 120 special attack is not bad, but 59 speed is really going to hurt it. Um, and uh, just being a straight up water Pokemon, um, not the best offensive type water. Um, so, as far as tiers go, probably NU or RU. Um, definitely not, I don't think it has it's UU or definitely not OU material. Uh, I, I, I barely, I think it's barely even RU material. So, I think RU or UU is going to be where this Pokemon goes. Now, this Pokemon, the Heliolus, and I gotta say, when I first saw this Pokemon, I was I already banished it to the garbage zone. But this Pokemon is actually really good. Has access to the Dry Skin ability, Sand Veil, and Solar Power. Three amazing abilities. Um, 62 HP, 55 attack, 52 special uh, defense, 109 special attack, 94 special defense, 109 speed. With this, that the magic number 109 outspeeds those mystical goats, which is really good. 109 special attack is really good as well. Um, its defensive stats. Not great, but it does have some pretty good special defense. Also, Dry Skin. I mean, this Pokemon, if you ever use this Pokemon in the game, you know it has an amazing move pool. It gets moves like Grass Knot and Surf, as well as U-Turn. That's a Volt Switch and uh, obviously Thunder and Thunderbolt and Thunder Wave, all that stuff. As well as the Parab Parabolic Charge move, so you can uh, have some sort of pseudo recovery with this Pokemon as well. You can run it on a Rain Team with the Dry Skin ability and Life Orb. And, and you know, get basically stab surfs out of it, as well as dropping stab thunders, well, stab life force thunders. This Pokemon is going to be definitely overused. I definitely see this Pokemon as an overused Pokemon. It's really, really good. So versatile, really, really versatile Pokemon. And uh, you're definitely going to be seeing this in overused tier. So be ready to expect it, especially on rain teams. Be prepared to see this Pokemon on rain teams. That 109 base speed is amazing for overused. And uh, yeah, we prepared to see this. Uh, now Tyrantrum has the strong jaw ability, boosting its uh, biting moves. It has 82 um, HP, 121 attack, 119 defense, 69 special attack, 59 special defense, and 71 speed. Um, this Pokemon does get access to Stealth Rocks. It's one of the um, couple of Pokemon that do get access to Stealth Rocks in 6th uh, Gen. Uh, 121, 121 attack is really good. 120, 119 defense is really good. It's the special defense is pretty awful, so it's not going to be taking special hits very well. So that means it's pretty much going to straight up die to a fairy type move. Um, 71 speed also not the greatest, but because it is a rock type, it does have access to rock polish. So this can function as a pretty good late game sweeper once you clear the way of you know the, 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 the defense walls like Skarmory. Um, I don't think you know Glasscore can't really. Well, I mean even with the strong draw ability, Glasscore can still take an Ice Fang from this from this Pokemon because Glasscore is just a defensive beast like that. So once you clear the way of those Pokemon like Glasscore, Ferrothor, and Skarmory, uh, you can you can definitely late game sweep with this Pokemon with a Rock Polish because Rock Dragon is really good offensive coverage. Um, so obviously only Ferrothor walls those two. Um, well, actually, I mean, Steel Steel types will um, will be able to take that. But again, you can run Earthquake. I'm pretty sure this Pokemon gets Earthquake, so you know that's not a big deal. Plus Fire Fang with the Strong Jaw ability as well. So um, overall, I think this Pokemon is going to function as can function as a late game sweeper. I don't see it being overused though, just simply because you know the speed isn't the greatest. Um, there are Pokemon like Gliscor and Skarmory that can just you know this Pokemon is easily counterable. I think that's going to be his uh, main weakness as far as Obi's concerned is that it's easily countable. But I can see, I definitely can see this Pokemon causing some, wreaking some havoc in the underused tier, especially Choice Bandit, Rock Dragon. That's going to be a problem. It does get access to Head Smash, so it can throw out Choice Bandit Head Smashes around. So I, I can see this Pokemon being underused or, or, or underused or rarely, rarely used. I don't think, I don't see it going lower than that. I just, I don't see this as an overused Pokemon. Next, we're going to talk about uh, Aurora's 123 base HP. 72, 77 attack, 72 defense, 99 special attack, 92 special defense, 58 speed. Um, overall, this Pokemon has great bulk because of its HP. Uh, but, uh, oh, it also has access to Snow Warning uh, through the Dream World ability. But again, there's Obama Snow. There's also Mega Obama Snow. And that Pokemon overall is just much better. This Pokemon is times four weak to Fighting and Steel, which is not good to be in all these Pokemon. It's also weak to Rock. That's also not good. So all those things say, you know, this Pokemon's definitely not going to be overused for those reasons. Um, it might also, and I think that this Pokemon's probably going to go to Borderline because they may, last generation, they didn't allow weather uh, in the lower tier. So they may just say, you put this Pokemon on the Borderline, or they just, they may, they just ban, they may just ban Snow Warning, the ability from the lower tiers. Probably what they'll do, so you can only use Refrigerate with this Pokemon. But uh, I, I don't see this Pokemon getting too much usage, even in underuse. Again, Rock Ice is not the best typing honestly it's really bad typing defensively speaking and uh i definitely see you're gonna you're probably gonna see this pokemon in NU 
Probably, that's probably where it's going to be. Uh, now, uh, Sylveon, really good Pokemon. 95 HP, 65 attack, 65 defense, 110 special attack, 130 special defense, 60 speed, standard um, uh, evolution spread. And obviously, this Pokemon has the ability of uh, the, the uh, plus of being a fairy. Unfortunately, its abilities are stupid. Um, I mean, cute charm, obviously, dumbass ability, and pixelate, making your normal type moves fairy moves, but. It has access to Moonblast, so it doesn't even need that ability. Um, I, I thought I mean I read somewhere that Sylveon got um, got uh, synchronized, but uh, they don't have that ability here, so maybe it doesn't get synchronized. That would have been a pretty good ability for it, but yeah, it's a, it's not really getting much help from its abilities, unfortunately. But it's going to be a very very good specialty defensive wall. We saw earlier in the video it just eating up a Life Orb Hydro Pump from Politoed, and now we know why. 95 base HP plus 130 base special defense, so it's pretty much uh, as specially defensive as um, Umbreon is. So this is just a fairy type Umbreon, basically. So definitely going to be an overused Pokemon. And also, um, I mean, 65 base. Uh, defense isn't great either, but 95 base HP does help mitigate the low, the lower defense. Um, plus, plus you can also run max defense on this Pokemon to begin to take those um, those uh, dragons a little bit better. Uh, because a Pokemon like Latios can't touch you. I mean, clearly, unless it trips you, it can't. Touch, it's not going to be able to touch you, so you don't have to worry about that. So definitely max defense. Sylveon is going to be probably the most popular set. You know, Wish Protect shenanigans is all the evolutions have. So definitely, this Pokemon is definitely going to be overused. The next Pokemon we're going to talk about is Halucha. Fighting, flying, has access to the main ability you're going to be using is Unburdened. Amazing ability. 118 speed, uh, 92 attack. Um, 78 HP, 74, 5 defense, 74 attack, 62 special defense. So, for us, sort of, kind of a frail Pokemon. But, um, um, Unburden, Fight Gem, Acrobatics, and you just sweep stuff. It also has that move Flying Press, which I, so I kind of don't understand how it works a lot of the time. It is both a fighting and a flying move at the same time, which is really weird. But I, I noticed that for a Pokemon like Barbaracle, you know, it's Flying Press is neutral because. Fighting is weak, obviously rock is weak to fighting, but rock resists flying, so flying press, they being, that makes flying press neutral on a, a, on, on a rock type Pokemon. So it's kind of a weird uh, move, it also like, you know, forget, for example, you know, you can't hit a ghost with flying press because if it's immune, it's always going to be immune, stuff like that, so it's kind of a weird move. Um, but uh, it, it does have a, the ability for it to unburden, plus it also gets access to Swords Dance, um, move, it gets Rouge, it gets Encore, this is definitely going to be a pretty a pretty potent um, sweeping a sweeper because you don't even because of it, because of the fact that it has 118 base speed you don't even have to run max speed because you, your 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 speed is going to be doubled anyway once you get rid of your flying gem because you're most likely going to use a flying gem and acrobatics with this Pokemon you don't even have to run ma uh, max speed so you can put, you put those EVs elsewhere you can put them in HP to increase its bulk um, that's probably really where you're most likely going to put it. Um, and then you know you run you can run um, adamant max attack some HP EV some speed EV just enough to outspeed you know those you know probably base 108 scarfers that's probably where you probably need to be just enough speed to outspeed like you know uh, uh, jolly scarf terrakion and you, you should be good to go you know after a swords dance you know you know Pokemon like Gliscor or Skarmory which would initially wall this Pokemon you know you can just you can just encore them into you know like a, a, a spikes or something and get a free setup. Now Skarmory on is probably the Pokemon you want. You, you can't take on one on one, but Gliscor you can definitely take on Gliscor one on one because it's, unless it's packing um, Aerial Ace or, or Ice Fang, you know if they're gonna try and sub toxic you, you can just Encore it into Substitute or Protect and then just start setting up Swords Dances. So this is I think this Pokemon definitely can, definitely has the potential to be overused with the, the move set. You know um, Swords Dance Encore and. Um, Acrobatics and then you know, maybe Brick Break. Uh, th that definitely can be a, a very, very potent um, late game sweeping set. Uh, Dedene, eh, it sucks. I'm not even going to waste my time on it. It's awful. It's just bad. It sucks. <laughs> uh, Kabrink, um, or Carbink, sorry. I believe this Pokemon also gets Stealth Rocks, and if it doesn't, it should. It has 150 base defenses and 50 and everything else. Um, it is a fairy, but it's four times weak to steal. Um, so I think that's gonna hurt it, but again, uh, you can—I mean, like, that's that's why you run five. Uh, you know, you have uh, five other members on your team, but 150 base defense is not bad. Uh, I just don't—I don't—I don't think this Pokemon is gonna see much love and overused. Um, I think it definitely has the potential. To, it can—it can work in underused, especially being, because of it being a fairy type, plus having amazing defenses. But this is just one of those Pokemon that people are just gonna shy away from, just simply because it, it uh, it's four times weak to steal. So uh, I definitely see you're probably gonna see this one drop to underused or, or rarely used. 
I definitely think that's going to be around that range. Next Pokemon, Gudra, another really good Pokemon. Has some pretty good abilities, Sap, Sipper, Hydration, and Gooey. And Gooey, basically, if you get hit with a physical move, you, you're, you're, the Pokemon that hit you with that move, their speed drops one stage, so they, they get lower speed, so... Pokemon hit you with a physical move, like say you switch into a close combat on Terrakion, Terrakion's speed will be dropped by 50% uh, if you have the GUI ability, so that's a really good ability. And it has a really amazing HP um, def uh, bulk in general, um, 90 HP, 100 attack, 70 defense, 110 special attack, 150 special defense, and 80 base speed, so this is a really bulky Pokemon, amazing special bulk, decent physical bulk. Another Pokemon that can take on Gengar one-on-one, -on -one. so this that Pokemon is definitely going to be overused. Plus, it has 100, 100 uh, attack and 110 special attack, so it can hit, it can deal, deal out some um, pretty good damage, um, even even though it's a, a wall. So that this Pokemon is going to be definitely overused. Now, the next Pokemon we're talking about is Clefki. The main ability you're going to be using with Clefki is Prankster, and um, this Pokemon definitely can, I think it's going to be overused. I mean, Prankster has access to priority screens. Um, Thunder Wave, it gets spikes, you can run a lead, a suicide lead with Focus Sash, and guarantee basically two spikes, you get two spikes unless they taunt you, um, you're guaranteed at least one spike for sure. Um, so this Pokemon definitely, I feel like, has the potential to be over you simply because, especially on those, those teams that like to set up and sweep, you can just priority screens, uh, set up a spike, get some priority screens up, and just let uh, Klefki die, then switch into your Mega Lucario, set up some Swords Dances, and, you know, let the fun begin. So I, I definitely think this Pokemon is going to be over you simply because of its ability and its move pool. Um, uh, also has some pretty decent defenses, 90, 91, and 87. Not bad for what it needs to do. So I uh, definitely see this Pokemon being overused. Next Pokemon is Trevenant. Um, it has a uh, Natural Cure, Frisk, and Harvest. Probably Harvest and Natural Cure, Cure are going to be the, the better abilities to run. Has 85 HP, 110 attack, 76 uh, defense, 65 special attack, 82 special defense, 56 speed. Uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure where this Pokemon is going to fall. Um, it does have 110 attack, which is pretty good, but uh, 56 speed overall, it's just it's it's just subpar. Definitely not overused. Um, I don't know if I had to say maybe like Trick Room, uh, under a uh, rarely used team or a Trick Room rarely used team. Probably never use or rarely uses where this Pokemon's gonna fall. Same with uh, this Pokemon here, um, Gorgeist. It has actually four different stats because there's. Uh, four sizes, the average size, and all the way up to the super size. And basically, the only thing that changes is the HP go, the attack goes up as you get bigger, but your speed drops as you also as you get bigger. Um, I'm pretty sure that people will probably most likely run the super size, or the yeah, the super size one, the large size, super size, whatever you want to call it, because of the 100 base attack speed. You don't really need speed anyway. I mean, it's a ghost grass. Um, it has, has it really has it does have high uh, base defense 120 uh, 122 and um, uh, but I don't, the grass ghost isn't really a great defensive type so I think this is another one of those never used Pokemon I think both of these grass ghost Pokemon will be never used uh, I think that Trevenant has is more likely to be used than Gorgeist but yeah this Pokemon is another Pokemon I've never used Avalug uh, has 117 attack though 184 defense 95 HP to go along with that 44 attack or special attack, 46 special defense, and 28 speed. Um, so its special defense is pretty low, but it has a, a high attack and um, a super high uh, defense. But obviously, we all know that Ice is not the greatest defensive type. It's weak to rock, steel, fighting. So, um, it has own tempo, ice body, and sturdy. Eh, I mean, Stealth Rocks is going to break the sturdy ability um, more than likely, but sturdy is probably the best ability to run on it. And overall, this Pokemon is probably not going to see much play. And, you know, Regice, I think Regice is overall a better Pokemon, and Regice isn't even that good. So, yeah, this Pokemon is not going to see much play. Now, Noivern, on the other hand, another really good Pokemon. Definitely overused material. Um, 85 uh, base HP, 70 attack, um, 80 spe uh, defense, 97 special attack, 80 special defense, and 123 speed. That's the kicker right there, 123 speed. Gets over Latios, gets over the uh, Mythical Goats. 97 attack, special attack isn't the greatest, but it's definitely usable. You can make use of it. It gets moves like U-Turn, so you know you, you can switch, you can um, run choice sets and not have to worry about locking yourself into Draco Meteor if they have a fairy. So that's uh, a plus to Noivern. So I definitely think that you're going to see this Pokemon, uh, see some overuse play. Um, Although I think this Pokemon does have a potential to drop down just to underuse, just because simply for the fact that 97 special attack it doesn't really hit as hard as you really would want it to. Uh, I don't, I don't think, unless you're running choice specs. I think choice specs Noivern is probably going to be the most effective set for overuse because that's how you can get the most 
out of Neuvern's, uh, you know, because you can, I mean, 123 speed, you don't really need to run a scarf on this because it outspeeds everything anyway, so I think Specs Neuvern's probably going to be the most, uh, the most, uh, common Neuvern that you're going to see, so definitely think this Pokemon has the potential, potential to be overused, uh, if not underused for sure. Obviously, the, then the Uber Pokemon, uh, uh, we're not even going to talk about them because they're Uber, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty busted. Um, people are saying that Zygarde sucks and stats are um, stupid. This thing has 108 HP, 121 defense, 95 special defense. This is not, this is an all, this is a uber Pokemon, guys. I don't know, whoever thought that Zygarde was terrible, they were wrong. <laughs> so, um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, I'll do um, the Mega Evolutions in another video, but um, these are all the Pokemon and their stats. Um, Tell me what you think about your po uh, about these Pokemon. Which Pokemon do you think are going to be overused, underused, rarely used, so on and so forth? Um, I've given you my opinions, and I'd love to hear yours. Hear yours. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of here. Deuces.